Okay, today we're going to talk about how to get Tableau connected to Hortonworks Hadoop Hive. So, like all things Tableau, you just go and find the data source you want to work with. In this case, I have recently used it, so it's over on my left. But if I didn't have it, I would come over and find it. Um, but here it is. At this point, if you don't have the driver installed for Hortonworks Hadoop Hive, um, you should get it. Uh, and if you don't know if you have it or not, just try to enter in your credentials here and say sign in. And if it fails and it says the driver's not found, then what you need to do is, well, first, what you should check out is tableau.com slash support slash drivers. Go here and follow these instructions. Uh, Hortonworks actually just changed their website, so these instructions don't follow exactly what needs to happen here. What you need to do is come over here to the Hortonworks data platform from this website over here, go to HTTP add-ons, and here is where you can get the ODBC driver. Right? So then you install that, it takes a few minutes, it's pretty fast, and then you come back to Tableau, give it a shot, I'm just connecting to it. If it doesn't work, you need to use this other thing. You need to plug in what we call a TDC file. And there's details on this that come with um, the Hortonworks application. So if I go and find that Hortonworks user guide and I search for Tableau, it tells me, hey, if you want to use Tableau, you should use a TDC file. So like, what's a TDC file? It just ends in .tdc and you can create it in Notepad. So you can just copy these two lines here and paste it into a Notepad file and it can look as simple as this. And once I did this, my thing worked perfectly. An observation I had with a customer was that they had loaded up their Hortonworks Hive ODBC driver with all these custom ODBC strings. And if you do that, then you also need to tell Tableau, hey, I've put all this custom stuff in there. And the way that you do this, and this is detailed somewhat well here in the README guide, but I don't think well enough because it took us some time to get this set up right, so I hope Hortonworks can improve their documentation, um, but you need to throw in stuff like this. So you need to open up another tag here called customizations and then load them in here. And you have to be very careful about strings. There's a very specific syntax you have to follow there with these curly brackets, right? And um, to, you should work with your Hortonworks consultant to understand exactly what strings you need to pass in if it's not working just with the plain vanilla TDC. But then once that's good to go, you put that file in this location, documents my Tableau repository data sources, and you restart Tableau and you'll be good to go. You can just go ahead and connect to wherever your data source is. I'm also attaching a document that explains how to find what those additional string extras might be in an ODBC connection. So this was done by someone much smarter than myself and he outlined exactly what to do here.